so hello my dear students and learners so in my previous video i have discussed about the various types of programming so which uh, can be broadly classified into two categories that we have discussed one is procedural programming and another one is the object oriented programming and at the uh, same video i have also discussed about the invention of the c language and the importance and the uh, uses of C languages. Now today I am going to discuss about the topic low level language, high level language and the different translators. Translators are available to convert the different types of language into machine language. Now the computer language can be broadly classified into two different categories. The number one is low level language, low level language and another one is high level language. Now this low level language can again be classified into two different categories. The number one is machine language machine level language okay so what is machine level language so machine level language means the language that machine understand now in my previous video i have already told you that machine only understand two things that is zero and one that means the machine level language the instructions are written using the binary code and binary means by means you know it is two so only two different digits are used that is zero and ones. So in machine level language, the instructions are written as a sequence of zeros and ones. Okay. So sequence of by sequence of zeros and ones, all the instructions will be written. And each and every machine has its own sequence, set of sequence, and this set of sequence actually known as machine language and the program that is written using this machine language are termed as machine level programming. Now for example 1 0 0 0 0 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. so 1 followed by 7 zeros and this is a machine instructions for addition in 8085 microprocessor. Now this language, this instruction is understandable by the machine. Now each and every machine has its, this set of instructions and this set of instructions is machine language, which machine understand. Now what is the advantage of machine language? The main advantage is that it does not need any translator to translate the language because it is already in machine language. Okay, and since no translator is required, so it is very much fast but it is machine dependent that means it depends on the hardware of the machine okay so each and every machine the hardware is different so the set of instruction is also different so if you are writing a program in machine language in one machine the the same program may not run in another machine so it is machine specific and suppose a programmer wants to write a program in machine level language the program must have an extensive knowledge about the architecture about the hardware specification of that particular machine only then the programmer will be able to write the program otherwise it is very difficult okay and since uh, it is machine specific so that's why it is not portable that means it cannot be uh, uh, the the language the machine language that has written in one program may not run in another program so that's why it is not portable now the another types of low level language is assembly language Okay, now what is assembly language? This is another kind of low-level language. Here, the apart from this machine instructions, mnemonics are also used. So these mnemonics, mnemonics are used. Now, what are the example of mnemonics? The mnemonics are simply, for example, this type of symbolic names add then suppose you read so add is the uh, mnemonics that is used for the addition purpose read is 
used for reading some inputs from the keyboard similarly if we want to print something we have to use this print in assembly language similarly if you want to increment you have to use the mnemonic inc okay so like this the symbolic constants are also used apart from this uh, machine level binary code now this machine level binary code is understandable by the uh, computer and this mnemonics are understandable by the human being so this is a first step to make the languages readable and understandable by the human beings okay now since here the languages are when the programs are written using this assembly languages so translators are required so someone has to be there to translate the assembly level language to the machine level language and name of the software is called assembler so assembler is a software which will convert the assembly level language into its corresponding machine level language so that machine can understand so since it needs to be converted so it takes much more time so it's a bit slower than the machine language but main advantage is that it is much more understandable and it is comparatively easier to write the programs with compared to the machine level language okay and the next one is the high level language so the in high level language what is being done the programs are written with a specific language for example c c++ java okay so these are the examples of the high level language now in high level language the english like simple languages are used uh, english like languages are used to write the high level language programming the examples are c c++ and java now whenever we are writing the programs in english like languages which is very much which are very much understandable by the human beings but it is not at all understandable by the machine so it needs to be converted to the corresponding machine code okay so some translators will be required so compiler and interpreters are different to translators which can convert this source code written in in any specific languages to its corresponding machine level language now since it needs translator so it's a bit slow and but the main advantage is it is very much understandable by the human beings okay so these are the different types of languages two types of mainly low level and high level low level are again two types machine level language and assembly language and these are the high level languages okay so uh, students now we are going to discuss about the different types of translators that are available in computer programming okay so now we are going to discuss about the translators now there are three types of translators mainly available the number one is interpreter now what is interpreter so interpreter is a software which will convert the uh, program that has been written in high level language into its corresponding machine code so it will converts source code to machine code and it will be converted line by line that means interpreter will takes a single line at a time of the source code and then it will converts this line to its corresponding machine code and then it will executes okay now whenever interpreter is converting so it only shows the errors of the particular statement okay now the interpreter the examples for example python language use this interpreter okay now the second type of translator is compiler okay now compiler is another type of translator that means it is also a program 
which will converts the source code converts the source code to its corresponding machine code and it will take the entire program it will take the entire program at a time that means whenever we will use the compiler to convert any high level language program into its corresponding machine code then the compiler will take the entire program as the input then it will convert to its machine code and it will then be executed so since the compiler is taking the entire program at a time so much more memory space is required to scan and convert it compared to the interpreter and compiler also lists down all the errors and sometimes also correct some of the errors by the compiler so this is the compiler now the next type of translator is assembler now what is assembler assembler is another translator which is also a program which will converts the source code which will converts the source code to assembly code okay so it will convert this source code to assembly code so my dear students so this three types of translator mainly used in um, programming one is interpreter so it will convert the source code into its machine code but line by line it will convert so python language actually use this then compiler uh it will convert the entire source code to the corresponding machine code so it will take the entire program at at a time and then it will convert it execute it uh, for example the c c++ java all are compiler based programming languages and next one is the assembler which will convert the source code into its corresponding assembly code okay so my dear students uh this is the topic for the day uh, i have discussed with you i hope you have enjoyed this video now if you have any kind of doubt feel free to um, uh, um put your comments on the comment box so that i can understand and i will try to um comment on that i will try to give the answer on that and if you find this video is really beneficial for you so please share this video like this video and don't forget to subscribe my channel so thank you all for watching please take care have a nice day